So now on the front part of the chassis, there's a lot more design constraints on this because you have a center spine and then everything else has to tie in around it. So there's not really a, a great box to attach everything to. I just need to sort of work my way out with the center spine and then some ribs that will tie in those existing plates. And I decided to use that front winch as a constraint for the front of the cage. But I think I'm going to end up modifying this design when we get to the bodywork phase because I want to have a traditional trophy truck style front bumper. And I'm not really worried about ground clearance in the same way that I was for the Ultra 4 design. So I'll probably move that winch out and have a bumper that's going to wrap around the front of the wheels. But just some simple plate work here. And then I can make some tubes that pop out and around that winch to tie the upper control arm plate mounts to the lower control arm plate mounts and the center spine of the chassis. So the front bulkhead tube work is starting to come together. The biggest limiting factor on here was the steering box to make sure that none of the tubes were going to crash into that. But the center tube that you see there is for the sway bar. So that was a really nice anchor point to tie everything to. And the plate work was super simple on the upper control arm mounts and basically just building a load path around those from the top of the bulkhead down to that center spine into the rest of the chassis. And you want this part of the design to be really rigid torsionally because the independent front suspension is going to be imparting a twisting force along the center axis of the vehicle. So it's got to be really strong. 